Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. A pleasure to be able to speak to both of you today. How are you? Okay? Yeah, good, good. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Um, so some people might be well into the series already, but some people might be coming fresh to it. So could you just start off with a brief introduction to Slow Horses, but also tell us a bit about each of your characters? You want to start, Dustin, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> You do you want to do a bit about the show? Oh, okay. You're, you're slow, so good at it. I'm you're not so good, at, good it at it at all. So Slow Horses is about a group of people, well, a group of agents that were used to work for MI5 and for various reasons, various misdemeanors, they've been relegated to this sort of hellhole called Slough House where they're basically paper shuffling um, and hate it it's bloody boring it's the walls are gray everything's gray about it mm. there's no life in this in this office um and they're kind of what happens after that they get involved <laughs> in something they really shouldn't they you know above their pay grade sort of thing yeah. and they get like lured back in and get a shot at sort of redemption although they're not really fit officially for uh, fit, for, fit for it or officially meant to do it so it's um, it's their chance to sort of prove mm. themselves and prove all the doubters wrong. And can you tell us a bit and about who Louisa. you play? Yeah. Yes. So what you play? I mean, I play Louise. It's kind of probably easier to speak about as a duo. <laughs> in yeah, a way, uh, yeah. Because they kind of um, Louise is obviously one of the slow horses. As is Min. As is my Min. character Min Harper. And they have a very interesting dynamic between the the two of them. They're sort of yin and yang aren't they mm. louise is quite um dom dominating and <laughs> and uh doesn't really take any shit from no and min's a anyone. bit more put upon he's just sort of more it's a bit goofy a bit goofy just sort of bumbling louise is probably much better at her job and we don't know what reason she's there but it's probably not nearly as useless as min's i, mean, I can say can't i that i why i'm there yeah I, I'm basically one of the slow horses because I left a top secret fine on a train, which is pretty useless. And um, you just can't get away with that. But it's, you know, a bit insignificant, a bit meh. Mm. Whereas you, we don't quite know why you're there and you can't I know imagine it. There. Well, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> he hasn't read. Can we bother to read the book? I've forgotten. No, I've forgotten. <laughs> and um, it's just a slightly yeah, more interesting <laughs> reason, more uh, complex, shall we say. You're better at your job, basically, is what I'm yeah. trying to say. But they kind of complement each other. He's, you know, men's quite silly and louise is a, a bit more serious and you and you kind of loosen i'm the you light know. in your life aren't i yeah I'm you're light, the light yeah. in my life I'm the yeah, light, yeah. Sure. <laughs> and obviously it's based on mick heron's books but you know it's the writer from veep and the thick of it um who's adapted it for the screen which i think really shows in kind of the tone and you know balancing this sort of dark humor with the drama um and it's sort of the opposite mm. of kind of the james bond vision of the spy mm. you know everything's damp and dirty and a bit bleak um what was the appeal for you in, in being involved with the show well it's partly like you say it's that kind of approach to the world of mi5 and it's that sort of 99 percent that are propping up the one percent that is the sort of bond more familiar sort of mi5 spooked characters that you see we're like beneath the ice you know tip of the iceberg we're beneath the water sort of just doing all the cog turning and paper pushing like you were saying earlier and it's just that sort of reality that slightly boring reality to what that job really mm. entails a lot of the time especially when you get relegated to slough house and you really are just sifting through bins and looking at receipts so it's that balance of everyday office workplace humor mm. and like a which so many people can relate to you know and that's it it doesn't like it doesn't fall into the typical spy genre no it's and not so, all dramatic first class yeah and also it's about the character i mean like that's a first class train tickets. <laughs> sort of obsessed with them at the moment. Um, it's also like about the characters, you know, that all of the characters from Lamb to I mean, every single character, they're 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 human, they're funny. Um, and in some ways I think it's more about them than it is necessarily about the thriller. I don't know. I mean yeah, it's, it's a, a bit it's of both. That's balance, the thing. That's yeah. why it's good. It's 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 balance. You know, it's not just a thriller. It's not just an office drama. Um it's it's combined the two the two things together, which makes it I think pretty pretty unique and pretty fun to to do. It always reminds me there's a scene in do you remember Austin Powers and um what you know, like million, hen, thousands of henchmen get killed and the films never sort of discuss who those henchmen are or like what their lives are or their backstories. And then, 
the the workers have to phone up one of the henchmen, insignificant henchmen, and they have to phone up the family. And this whole backstory is to the family going, "Why is why did they kill Daddy and everything like that?" And it always reminds me of that because it's sort of like <laughs> behind the curtain sort of thing, behind the glamour. And it's very much kind of an ensemble cast. And I love the fact you know you've got this real mix, you know, veterans with Chris and Scott Thomas, and um, mm. you know Gary Oldman alongside, you know, you guys and Jack Loudon and and Olivia Cook. Was it loads of fun to be on set? And how did you all kind of like work together? I think that was the best part about doing the show. Like the whole cast are just A, super talented and B, just so much fun to to, to be around. Like it was it was so fun mm. to come to work. I and mean, we were filming this for the best part of a year, mm. no? Yeah, more, yeah. More, more than a year. And then we had all the time before it because we had to go into lockdown when we found out Yeah. It. So it's been a long, old process now. Um, um, so you do get to know everyone. Yeah, and like Gary and... Jack. Jack, yeah. It's just, it was, it's, it was dreamy. It was really dreamy to come to work. You always look forward to the scenes actually in the office where everyone, all the slow horses are together. Um, you know, because a lot of it's on the road or like a lot of that, there's a lot of splintering off like... Uh, Jackson and River and us two and mm. you keep having these little sort of duos and when we were all together it was quite satisfying seeing us all sat there you know waiting to do our shots waiting for our turns it was good I think I'm out of time but it's been an absolute pleasure to speak to both of you and can't wait for everyone else to get stuck into this and, and I believe there's another season already in the can is that right <laughs> yes <laughs> we're just like can we say that, that? yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yes. maybe more, yes. maybe more. Yeah, okay, great. Well, it's lovely to chat to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Cheers. Thank Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. 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 Bye.